What's going on everybody? Apple just launched some huge news in the AI industry and it's really taken everything by storm. People like Elon Musk is reacting. A bunch of people have their thoughts and opinions. Let's dive right into it and give you the breakdown. All right, so at Apple's WWDC event for 2024, they had a lot of new announcements. Um, you probably have heard some of them, but we're going to dive through each and every one and kind of go through the highlights, my reaction on it, my take, as well as what some other people in the AI space on Twitter and other places are saying about this. So without ado, let's dive right in. Full Park, we're glad you could join us for what promises to be an action-packed and memorable WWDC. I'm so excited to show you the new Math Nodes experience. I get to it by just tapping the new calculator button right here. And with my Apple Pencil, I'll just start writing out expressions like I would on a piece of paper. As soon as I write an equal sign, calculator immediately solves it for me and even shows me the results in handwriting like my own. When I make a change, the results update live. And I can go beyond basic math with all of the same functions from the scientific calculator. Apple intelligence will enable your iPhone, iPad, and Mac to understand and create language as well as images and take action for you to simplify interactions across your apps. For example, your iPhone can prioritize your notifications to minimize unnecessary distractions while ensuring you don't miss something important. Apple Intelligence also powers brand new writing tools that you can access system-wide to feel more confident in your writing. Writing tools can rewrite, proofread, and summarize text for you. And now you can create totally original images to make everyday conversations even more enjoyable. So when you wish a friend a happy birthday, you can create an image of them surrounded by cake, balloons, and flowers to make it extra festive. You can create images in three unique styles, sketch, illustration, and animation. In addition to messages, this experience is built into apps throughout the system, like Notes, Freeform, Keynote, and Pages. Another way Apple Intelligence is deeply impactful is its ability to take action across your apps. So you can say things like, pull up the files that JAWS shared with me last week, or show me all the photos of mom, Olivia, and me, or Play the podcast that my wife sent the other day. There's one more critical building block for personal intelligence, and that's an understanding of your personal context. Suppose one of my meetings is being rescheduled for late in the afternoon, and I'm wondering if it's going to prevent me from getting to my daughter's play performance on time. Apple Intelligence can process the relevant personal data to assist me. It can understand who my daughter is, the play details she sent several days ago, the time and location for my meeting, and predicted traffic between my office and the theater. With Apple Intelligence, powerful intelligence goes hand in hand with powerful privacy. We have integrated it deep into your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and throughout your apps, so it's aware of your personal data without collecting your personal data. When you make a request, Apple Intelligence analyzes whether it can be processed on device. If it needs greater computational capacity, it can draw on private cloud compute and send only the data that's relevant to your task to be processed on Apple Silicon servers. Your data is never stored or made accessible to Apple. It's used exclusively to fulfill your request. And just like your iPhone, independent experts can inspect the code that runs on these servers to verify this privacy promise. 13 years ago, we introduced Siri. And now, thanks to the incredible power of Apple intelligence, we have the foundational capabilities to take a major step forward. When you talk to Siri, you'll notice it's more deeply integrated into the system experience with this elegant glowing light that wraps around the edge of your screen. And you can speak to Siri more naturally thanks to richer language understanding capabilities. What does the weather look like for tomorrow at Muir Beach? Oh wait, I meant Muir Woods. The forecast is calling for clear skies in the morning near Muir Woods National Monument. Siri also maintains conversational context, so I can follow up and say, create an event for a hike there tomorrow at 9 a.m. 
Hike is scheduled for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on June 11th. Now, at any time, you have the option to type to Siri. With just a double tap at the bottom of the screen, I can quickly and quietly ask Siri to set an alarm. Everything I've showed you so far will be available from the moment you start using Apple Intelligence. And over the course of the next year, we'll be rolling out more features that make Siri even more personal and capable. For one, Apple Intelligence will provide Siri with on-screen awareness, so it'll be able to understand and take action with things on your screen. For example, you'll be able to say, show me my photos of Stacy in New York wearing her pink coat, and Siri will bring those right up. Then you might say, make this photo pop, and Siri will enhance it just like that. And Siri will be able to take actions across apps. So you could say, add this to my note with Stacy's bio. And it will jump from the Photos app to the Notes app to make it happen. Thanks to Apple Intelligence, it has awareness of your personal context. You'll be able to ask Siri to find something when you can't remember if it was in an email, a text, or a shared note. And all of these updates to Siri are also coming to iPad and Mac. Let's use Mail to take a closer look at how the system-wide writing tools can help you communicate even more effectively. Rewrite gives you different versions of what you've written, so you can choose the one you like best. Another way writing tools can help you is with Proofread. With Proofread, you can nail grammar, word choice, and sentence structure to put your best foot forward. And if you're about to email a project status that has gotten quite long, use Summarize to bring out the key points and then add them as a TLDR right at the top. In addition to mail, you can access writing tools system-wide and now it's easier and faster than ever to browse your inbox. Instead of previewing the first few lines of each email that don't always convey the most useful information, you can now see summaries visible right from your email list. We're also elevating priority messages. Apple Intelligence can understand the content of the emails you receive, determine what's most urgent, and surface it right at the top. And deep understanding of language extends beyond your inbox into more places like your notifications. First, just like in mail, your priority notifications appear at the top of the stack, letting you know what to pay attention to at a glance. And to make scanning your notifications faster, they're summarized. Apple Intelligence also enables an all new focus called reduce interruptions. It understands the content of your notifications to selectively surface only the ones that might need immediate attention, like a text about today's daycare pickup. So we're introducing Genmoji, Leveraging the power of Apple Intelligence, you can create Genmoji on device right in the keyboard and match any moment perfectly. Just provide a description and you'll see your Genmoji appear right before your eyes, along with more options to choose from. Because Apple Intelligence is aware of who's in your photo library, you can simply pick someone and create a Genmoji that looks just like them. We went even further with a new system experience we call Image Playground. You can choose from a range of concepts like themes, costumes, accessories, places, and more. When you select them, they get added to your playground. No need to engineer the perfect prompt. In a few seconds, you'll see Apple Intelligence creates a preview of what your image could look like. A moment later, you'll see more previews you can swipe through. When you have a really specific idea in mind, you could just type a description to add it to your playground. And you can easily adjust which style you want to use. And choose from animation, sketch, or illustration. Since Apple Intelligence understands your personal context, you'll see suggestions for concepts related to your messages conversation, including you and people from your messages thread. When selected, it uses appearances from photos to add you or one of them to the image you're creating. To make it easy to experiment with creating images, we've also built a dedicated Image Playground app. Apple Intelligence unlocks some fantastic new experiences, like a brand new tool in the Notes app that we call ImageWand. ImageWand can transform a rough sketch into a polished image that complements your notes and makes them more visual and it's available right in your tool palette. Suppose you want a better image for your architectural history course. With ImageWand, you can circle your rough sketch using Apple Pencil to open up an image playground within your note. ImageWand uses on-device intelligence to analyze your sketch and words and creates an image for you. 
But what's really fun is that you can even circle empty space and it will pull out context from the surrounding area to suggest the ideal image to go with your note. We have an update to photo editing. The new cleanup tool will identify distracting objects in the background so you can make them disappear without accidentally changing your subject. Plus, searching for photos and videos is much more convenient because you can now use natural language phrases. So you can search for really specific things like Maya skateboarding in a tie-dye shirt. Search in videos is also more powerful with the ability to find a particular moment in the middle of a video clip. When you search for that video of Maria cartwheeling on the grass. Now, thanks to Apple intelligence, it is super easy to create a memory about the story you want to see. Just type a description. Using its language and image understanding, Apple intelligence picks out the best photos and videos. And then it crafts a storyline with unique chapters that are based on themes identified from your photos and arranges them into a movie with its own narrative arc. And what you saw here is just the beginning. For example, in the Notes app, you can now record and transcribe audio to capture detailed notes while staying present in the moment. And when your recording is finished, Apple Intelligence generates a summary to help you recall the key points at a glance. Recordings, transcriptions, and Apple Intelligence-powered summaries are also coming to the phone app. And when you start a recording in a live call, participants are automatically notified, so no one is surprised. Apple Intelligence is available for free with iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia. Still, there are other artificial intelligence tools available that can be useful for tasks that draw on broad world knowledge or offer specialized domain expertise. We want you to be able to use these external models without having to jump between different tools. So we're integrating them right into your experiences. And we're starting out with the best of these, the pioneer and market leader ChatGPT from OpenAI, powered by GPT-40. So Siri can tap into ChatGPT's expertise when it might be helpful for you. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. Your requests and information will not be logged. And for ChatGPT subscribers, you'll be able to connect your account and access paid features right within our experiences. ChatGPT integration will be coming to iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia later this year. We also intend to add support for other AI models in the future. We are just getting started, and I hope you are as excited as I am for the road ahead. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's have a great WWDC. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't want to pause it and talk throughout there, but I had many thoughts going on as we were watching this, which I'll let you know now, like pretty much everything there is, it's insane. It's obviously just the start, but it like the growth and the, 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 the like what this means for the AI industry is just absolutely insane because every single person and their mom and their grandma has an iPhone. There's really only an iPhone or an Android, or obviously there's different, there are some other options, but those are the really the main ones. And, and the biggest one is, is Apple. Everyone has an iPhone, right? So this is not just like ChatGPT or Perplexity or uh, Anthropic, where, you know, you have to subscribe to a service or you have to use an external tool. This is basically putting this power in the hands of every single person with an iPhone. All the students, all the, any person that you know of, like if, if you're watching this, you may be somewhat more, you know, in the AI industry, you're more, a little bit more educated about AI or about using it. You may be leveraging it, but you probably know so many people that don't know like what's going on with the AI. Like, yes, we have this thing that's so strong and so powerful and can help pretty much anyone at anything but there's still so many people that aren't using it. So this is basically rolling it out to the whole world, essentially um, everyone who actually uses Apple and it's rolling it out for free. And it's so on one hand, like this in terms of like, this is like, it's, it's a, it's really a double edged sword in my view, because yes, I can look at all these features and like, yo, these are some really kick-ass features. Like there are some really cool stuff that like 
if you were just use like that it's definitely going to improve your experience when you're using your your apple uh phone like your apple like i'm on a windows right now but it, it like just the features alone makes me want to you know make sure i have it, the newest um you know macbook or whatever these these sort of things right so that's one thought but then just like any type of big tech company bringing on this ai um you know i'm someone that understands you know privacy at, like for example the the microsoft pcs with recall we've already seen a bunch of security issues being exposed and it's like taking screenshots of your computer every five seconds very easy for hackers to you know if they get into like basically hack you they don't have to like do so much with all this encryption and stuff they can literally just get to the recall and like basically get whatever they want at your pc um so same thing goes to this like yes there's great power but it's also great power in the hands of these huge tech companies like apple microsoft and um and yet you know they're giving all this great value all like so much great value for free to the users and yeah that could be looked at as good but it's also kind of somewhat scary you know who who's behind that power we're giving all this power to these big tech companies like apple and and whatnot and you know they're giving it to you for free because um you know the data that they're going to get from this and the power that they're going to to wield is much more valuable than like you know charging you for some chat gpt subscription or anything like this so um yeah it's getting a lot more decentralized in the ai space and you know people like i have elon pulled up here because yeah even elon kind of you know um has been tweeting out on it he definitely is not is not a fan of the uh the whole apple situation so you know just to show some tweets and his thoughts if apple integrates with open ai at the os level the operating system level then apple devices will be banned at my companies this is unaccept this is an unacceptable security violation and visitors will have to check their apple devices at the door where they will be stored in a faraday cage uh, and then it's patiently absurd or patently absurd that apple isn't smart enough to make their own ai i mean that's kind of kind of funny uh yet it somehow is capable of ensuring that open ai will protect your security and privacy apple has no clue what they're actually going what's actually going on once they have hand your data over to open ai they're selling you down the the river uh readers added context they thought people might want to know apple have created their own artificial intelligence called apple intelligence chat has an additional feature within apple intelligence is limited to surrey writing tools with permissions to users blah blah blah, blah. okay so you know caveats of truth and and some, you know like depending on how you look at it it is like um yeah it's i mean do do i personally think that you you know data wise security wise that this is you know the safest thing going on uh, definitely not i mean um anything like and it's just it just seems like if this is the route we're going um it's and it, it you know it's going to i mean it's only going to get worse in terms of data and security like we have this AI that analyzes every single thing in your phone, every single thing in your photos, every single thing in your computer. The AI is going to be everywhere and know every single thing about you. Um, there's really going to be, so, I mean, one, that, that data is, could potentially, I mean, it, it, it's, it has the potential to be in the power of the biggest tech companies in the world, um, which they could do whatever with that. I mean, they could leverage so, all that data to, I mean, i mean they could leverage it to improve the ai they could leverage it to like it's worth billions trillions of dollars or um or you know hackers could you know easily like if someone uh, gets that data from you i mean it just makes you a bit more vulnerable so yeah it's you know i definitely see what musk is saying here here's a meme apple your data open ai obviously elon musk is definitely you know bias with not liking open ai i mean he has his reasons and uh definitely some are valid uh for sure um now imagine if a an ai trained in this same way 
grows in in power immensely prompt is it okay to misgen oh yeah this one yeah obviously this is this was uh very stupid um here's the problem with agreeing to share your data nobody actually reads the terms and conditions that's a funny um south park <laughs> south park uh meme uh i don't know if you've seen that episode but it's like the terms and conditions in the episode were like very crazy and no one read them and like they basically signed their life away um remember when scarlett johansson told OpenAI to not use her voice but they cloned it and use it anyway now imagine what they can do with your phone data even if you don't allow them to use it exactly and then and then yeah that's pretty much it from elon um and then we got sam over here um pretty much just saying very happy to be partnering with apple to integrate chat gpt into their devices later this year i think you will really like it yeah guys so it's kind of crazy what's going on um like like they were saying this is this is basically stage one with with ios 18 and uh, and once it rolls out you know they're they're rolling out the chat gpt situation um it's only going to get crazier and crazier and ramp up and ramp up even more and more so um let me know what your thoughts are i'm if you're watching this and you have some interesting thoughts about this situation whether you're agreeing with elon musk or whether you're like hey no i really like that what apple's doing here i mean yeah i like the features the features are cool but it's also like from a security and, and standpoint it's definitely uh you know definitely something to you know not just you definitely want to be caught uh uh, conscious of it because if you're not conscious of it i definitely will warn you guys like you want to be conscious of it just with whoever you give your data to um because yeah it's definitely it's definitely risky and especially with ai now like whoever is this who you know there's so much power to be attained and it can be attained so quickly especially with how fast uh, ai grows with the um with the exponential growth so it's it's Yes, it's great, but it's also kind of scary when you think about what tech company is going to be, um, you know, at the forefront of this. So let me know what your thoughts are about this whole situation. Do you agree with, like, do you agree with Moss? Do you disagree? Do you like what's going on? Do you think, hey, I don't care about security. I just want these new features. Um, whatever you think, let me know in the comments down below, guys. And if you want to stay up to date with all the newest AI, as well as how to actually use AI in your business, in your personal life. I teach that on this channel and I upload every single day. So if you want to, um, if you got value from this, if you uh, want to stay up to date with all that, make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you're new to this channel and you haven't um, joined our Stride community, it's a group that we're building of like-minded AI enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, um, business owners, whatever the case may be, we have over 700 members right now on our Facebook and Discord channel. So it's currently free. I actually may change that in the future or create a paid community. So um, if you want to get in while it's free, the link is in the description, stridecommunity.com. You can go check that out 100% free. And then also too, guys, if you want to learn more about AI, I did publish a book called Client Acquisition Code. So if you run a business and you want to get clients, um and you don't know how if you need to do prospecting ads leveraging ai with advanced prompts etc this is like an in-depth book all right it's no fluff it's like and it's not like one of these ai generated ebooks that people are putting out this is like i spent two to three years actually like researching and building this thing so it is very very valuable um link it is in the description for that client acquisition code.com it's only 27 bucks with a bunch of bonuses um, for the digital copy and it also has a money back guarantee so if you're not happy with it you can just let me know and um yeah i know you're gonna love it if you do if this is something that you are looking to do with growing growing your business learning ai and all that good stuff so other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride take care